It's out this week. Uh, we gave a round of applause to Dave and Zach. How about Nick and Jason as well? And, oh, and this guy, this guy, Ben Gibbard. Uh, Nick, I wanted to ask you a question, if that's all right. Uh, just real quick, 10 songs on the record, which is kind of short for an album. True or false, that's because you just wanted it to fit on one disc of a vinyl. Uh, I mean, that partially informed our decision, but I think that, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty big motivator. Our last album had three sides of four, uh, which is a little odd for two slabs of vinyl, so just putting it on one record felt pretty classic, so. As an avid vinyl listener, I, I appreciate that <laughs> more than you know. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to Ben right now. Do you think he'll tell me who 60 and Punk is about? Doubt it. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Um, ben, you have said uh, that this album is pivotal for the future of the band, and I'm so curious what you mean by that. Well, you know, I think, uh, you know, when with Chris leaving the band four years ago, you know, there was this kind of, there wasn't necessarily a moment where we thought, oh no, what are we going to do? It was more like, let's just move forward. Let's kind of, you know, at first get the touring thing taken care of. That's when we had Dave and Zach come in on that front, and over the course of the next two, three years, they kind of became full members of the band, and we realized we wanted to make an album with them. And, you know, I've often said that, you know, this band's records, you know, live or die based on the quality of the songs that I bring in, and sometimes I bring in better songs than other times, you know? But I think that, you know, when you go through a, a lineup shift that's, you know, that's so, uh, you know, uh, it's, you know, it's such a big deal in the course of the band's kind of, you know, lineage, you know, you really have to come out swinging, you know? And I think you have to kind of, you know, make something that uh, proves that you have staying power from that moment on. And I think that if we were sitting here seven years from now and we'd gone through like 15 producers and, you know, 10 other bandmates and we were we turned in like a dud, you know, we might be like, ah, maybe it's time to call it a day. I'm gonna tell you right now, <laughs> you didn't turn in a dud. Okay, man. good. No, good. absolutely not. Uh, if this record is any indication, the band is a very, very, very good place. Uh, we appreciate you guys being here celebrating its release with us at the iHeartRadio Theater. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.